Yo, Liam, happy birthday, bro. Happy birthday, brother. It's not my birthday, but thank you. It's been a while since we've kind of just chilled with you, done a vlog. A million things have popped up. We don't want to make excuses. I'm going to pardon that interruption. We don't want to make excuses and we want every video to be a banger. We're going to come out with a vengeance next week. You're going to see some phenomenal uploads. So thanks so much for bearing with that. I'm going to try to get up probably five videos a week in the summer. Get close to 100K nice and quick. And although we don't have the biggest following right now, you guys are the best. I don't know if you guys are following us on Snapchat or Instagram. We posted a story about the EHP video. If you guys comment on that video, you have a chance to win a gift card and it really helps us out a lot because if we get the most amount of comments, EHP will send us a cinematographer and it gives us an amazing chance to share a story and produce an unreal video. So if you guys just want to take a couple seconds out of your day to really make a difference in ours and mean the world and that's what Team Kloss is all about. Hopefully you guys can win and hopefully you can help us out with this. It's going to be unreal. We're going to dive into this day. Let's go. Love you and you and you, and you, and you. And one of the reasons that we haven't been filming is I've had so many midterms, and every midterm season I get super stressed. I get sick, if you haven't noticed. That's why I sound like an old lady that smokes or something. <laughs> oh, the art. The what? The Kyle. The Colossus. Colossus Kyle. Looks nice because we have this natural light coming in here. Oh, I'm gonna say crap because your bag's in the middle of the floor. Well, yours is in the middle of the floor too. No, it's over there nicely. Bozos love my rose gold. Purple got me slow mo. Something like I'm dorky, but my rubies in my gold though. What you think this fofo? These niggas must be loco. Stepping on these bricks and for your fix, so call me Toto. Keep a little bit of weight, eh? I know, I feel like it's just so much harder to put it on, I don't know why, but I think these are size small, but... Women's, right? <laughs> no. It's literally a workout. <sighs> Getting these things on. Didn't you compete in extra smalls last time? Yeah, but I was also like 160 something, now I'm like 188, so... Jeez. I guess a little bit of it went to my legs. I got the good old medium. Oh wait, where are they? Yeah. Show them. So, uh, these sleeves are for losers. I would never use them. That's why I'm keeping it raw, right? Just got the good old... Uh, there they are, they're hiding. How legit is this? I randomly discovered this. These are like the Adidas built-in legging shorts, so it's pretty sick. Just pop them over. It's pretty lit. I look uh, look like a supermodel from Sweden. <laughs> so happy. You love what? Bars with whip, because they bend. You yeah. just feel it snap each rep when you power it up. So uh, Kyle's sitting around 188. I'm actually about 215 right now, which is about almost 20 pounds heavier than I was at my lowest for the cut. So we kind of pushed the ball to about a pound, pound and a half. Then in the week we did gain a little bit extra a little extra something, something. Give them a flex though, they, a little, they're still a little there. extra something, something, but we also gain some more muscle. So when you're gaining more weight, as you guys saw in our Balkan video, you can have the potential to put on more muscle. We're gonna have to trim more fat. But we did it for other reasons as well, because we wanted to kind of fix hormones, get a bunch of stuff done. So I'm at about 4,000 calories. I think Kyle's been pumping like 45. He wants to go really big and then have the biggest shred of his life and just kind of get insanely diced, get incredible photos. And uh, Summer Flex is gonna be an unreal series this run round. We're so mentally focused, and right now, even in the bulk, I just feel so pinpointed to my training and so focused on what needs to be done. We're really excited to get back into the vlogging kind of lifestyle. We also have another amazing, like, uh, how to fix your form video, leg press, that's coming next, so look forward to that. But yeah, we're gonna walk you through our leg workout and show you guys three tips that'll change the way you work out. Okay guys, so today we're gonna to be doing five sets of two. We're just really gonna be focusing on getting out of that hole fast and really focusing on exploding. Let's crush it, man. 
dynamic this lower, are, as this, they call it. As I've gotten friggin' juicier, this belt. Oh, I literally adjusted it last week, and it's already like crazy I'm still tight the on same me. size somehow. You I are? Don't know how. I guess most of mine just goes right to my hips. Hips don't lie, right? I'm not chest though. <laughs> ah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is my look cool plate. Although this is only 405, it looks like 600, but it feels like 200. Jeez. Let's go. guys so for the first gym tip and this is something I try to tell everyone I'm going to demonstrate with the squat but it's about pinning your back so all you're doing is driving the ball boy together every exercise you do even when you stand good posture you're standing straight you're pushing those shoulders back you're not hunching if you're doing any exercise hunching you're going to be in a weaker point even for my leg press so I'm sitting down on the leg press I'll drive my rhomboids back right so that's back here these muscles I'll push them in like this you guys can see and I'll lift up my chest and I'll push them down. This is protecting my spine. This is keeping me in a strong position. I'm harder, I'm like a ball like this. So even if I'm doing leg press, I'll stay like this, I'll do my leg press. When you do like this, you're weak, you're floppy, your body's a weak unit. So no matter what, even when you're curling, when you're benching, when you're squatting especially, so you see some people try to squat, can you see my back already? Right? Yeah. Like this, this is weak, this is scary, and this is gonna hurt. Whereas, if you really drive it through, push it in there, I'm strong, see? It puts my back in a very strong position. It's protecting my spine. It's keeping me tight as a unit. And that's something you'll use for everything. Bench press, squat, leg curls, anything. Every exercise, get in the habit of getting in that strong position. Let's get it, bro. Oh, nope, I can't get it. But tip number two for this video is ego lifting. I think far too many people, especially gentlemen, um, forget to leave their ego at the door. Especially I see, on this guy. Yeah, and even squats. Like I see so many people who can't actually do like 225 for a proper rep. They load on 315 and they're subconsciously, like they're tricking their mind to think that they can do it when it's like a half rep. So next week, instead of doing 225 properly, they throw on 315 and they're just like literally never learning how to do the exercise properly. And they're just throwing their gains out the window. And this isn't even just like uh, beginner lifters. This is intermediate lifters as well. So. Um, number one tip is like guys just leave your ego at the door like lift properly and um, Don't go off your program and start doing like all this crazy weight when you can't actually do it Like learn the form properly and you guys will thank me later So I'm gonna take this weight off before I kill myself just to add on to that guys I highly recommend learning how to do full range of motion I just think like once you start varying away from that like on a squat like you start to go this much above like parallel then you'll go this much next time this much next time and even on the bench press like try pausing because it just creates more of a consistent habit for the next time instead of like going this far off the chest like full range of motion when actually muscle building is just absolutely crucial so many people avoid that and they miss out on that because they see a lot of other guys in the gym more experienced lifters like doing half reps and they think it's okay for them so stick to that and your gains will be on point EHP bro oh yeah EHP tip I got for you guys and this is huge and this is gonna shock veterans newbies everyone okay the amount of exercise you do and how long you work out does not equal your success in the gym sometimes the less is more in fitness and I know this is really complicated to understand it doesn't make sense because you think effort equals results that's not always true 
You also need to exercise the effort mentally to plan a regimen that's achievable and realistic. Some of the dangers of working out for too long are you can kind of only do your exercises to half of your ability, you won't put in 100%, you won't work on improving each lift, getting stronger. Another issue is that test has actually been shown to drop alongside with some of your other hormones, a uh, little over the hour mark, somewhere between an hour and 90 minutes I believe, and that's a whole nother issue of its own, right? Even you'll see a lot of pro bodybuilders saying they'll do their cardio in one separate session and then they'll hit, they'll be in the gym 45 to 90 minutes. And if you're doing any more, it's possible you could be talking too long, uh, you could have too many exercises going. Resting too long. Resting too long. There's a multitude of factors, but like I said, you want to make sure you have a good, periodized, strong, um, like a wide array of exercise, everything in your regimen. The regimen is so important. It's more important than you know. And that's a tip. I could go on forever, but hopefully that'll help a lot of y'all. One thing I will say, if you're powerlifting, it gets a little complicated, especially if you're power building, because sometimes the setup and rest can be a lot longer for those heavy compound movements versus your hypertrophy bodybuilding style. This tip's more so catered to that bodybuilding style. But nonetheless, the takeaway, you don't need to be in the gym four hours to get huge. How long would you say your average workout is? I'd say like once I'm completely focused and actually like working, I'd say about an hour to an hour and 10 minutes. No longer than an hour and 15. I used to be one of those guys that thought like three hours was better than an hour, but it just came to the point where it actually isn't. A so. buddy will add to the time too though. I will say that if you're working out with one or two buddies, yeah. add on another 30 minutes. Yeah, that's for sure. Where that bass? Where that bass? Playing? Um, yeah. What should you tell them, bro? What should I tell them? About this. Oh, I guess maybe we'll do a video on this? To hit that like you button. You guys hit the like button, we'll make a full tutorial on like how to and fix your form on the glue pull through. Yeah, are we ready for Mongo, bro? Yeah, man, let's get out of here. Once we hit the... Here, wait, wait, we'll put the full workout that we did on the screen right here. Somewhere around here. Right there. Let's go get some food. What's the price? Prices, prices, going up, woo! Prices, prices. We're out here at Mongolian Grill, getting some grilled uh, meat. So, um, Liam, you just got married yesterday. How does it feel? Terrible. I want to be like you. I want to be single. Your life's amazing. My goal is to outwork Kyle every day in the gym. I'm going to out eat him every day, too. What's the price? What's the price? Prices going up. Prices. Hold on. Price. Yeah. I slide. Skirt. Skirt, skirt. Going up. Hold on. Woo, woo, woo. Price. Bad Mona Lisa. Bad slide with my people. Pink slip for the ride. But what's in the trunk? It's illegal. Came from dying. Yo, Jesse. Fuck. Only one meat. I know. Only one. You can't get two. You can't get two here. You learned the hard way. <laughs> you tell him upset? Okay. That was a clip. Oh yeah, man. Alright dude, what you get? I got pork and noodles right here. Then I got beef, zucchini, and some pasta right rotini. here. Rotini. Let's go. Zucchini, rotini. Oh yeah, Jeremy, get it. Let's go. See what I got? I got some chicken. Got a little corn. Berta boys you know? with the boys? Berta. Goes in like corn, comes out like corn. Zaha, <laughs> dude. What's up? <laughs> What'd you get? I don't, I don't know. It's just a bunch of stuff. You get yelled at again? Tell them what happened. Well, <clears throat> I put two different meats in the same bowl and apparently you're not allowed to do that, so. I you know, got, I got in trouble. Yeah.